Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to use Excel to create a waterfall chart when we want to demonstrate the cash flow directions. For example, we may have a certain cash in the beginning, money goes in, money goes out, and ultimately we have some cash left. So what a waterfall chart is very useful to demonstrate this in and out process for cash. So here in the data we have the month and in the beginning we have the opening cash reserve is a hundred and ten thousand dollars and then in each month we have outflow or inflow. So we have outflow in January fifteen thousand dollars, inflow in February twenty five thousand dollars and then on and on throughout the year up till December. And uh, at the end of this, we can calculate the closing cash reserve that we have. And uh, the formula here is basically B2, that is the opening cash flow plus the sum of all the ins and outs. And in the end, this gives us the closing cash reserve. So to do this, we're going to select all the data we have and go to insert. As you can see on this, one of the options here is waterfall chart and some other related charts and click on this. And the first option is a waterfall. Okay, so now we have the chart. Let's edit the chart name. So automatically, the chart that the waterfall chart creates is actually the wrong chart because it considers the opening cash as a increase. As you see here, increase is blue, decrease is orange. And it also considers the final cash reserve here as, as an increase because both of these are positive numbers. So we need to edit the chart to make it correct. So the way to do this is go here and the right click and choose format data series and it will give you the interface on the right. Now we want to select only the first one. First, let's click once on this bar. And now you can see only this bar is highlighted. You have selected this bar. And uh, we know that this is not the cash in or out. It is actually the total cash in, at the opening. So click on this to check set as total as you see once you check on this then it's going to give this cash value a different color indicating that this is the total in the opening instead of a change of cash flow so then we do the same for the last part click once click twice not only it's highlighted check set as total so as you see here now the chart is correct so the height of the bar reflects how much money it is this gives you a very visual representation of how the cash reserve has been changing over time so whenever it decreases you see the decrease and then increase so the top of the bar represents the current level of cash reserve and the significant decrease, significant decrease, now you no longer have a cash reserve. You actually, at one point, you have a debt of $50,000 on your account. It was, that was a negative cash reserve. And as you see here, the beauty of a waterfall chart, it gives you the whole dynamics of your cash reserve over time. And in the end, you have a positive cash reserve of $168,000. That concludes this video.